Welcome to Monkey Apocalypse issue 20. 20. Hey. It's showtime with Jeff. Oh. Look who decided to show up. That's right. You got me here for at least the next three weeks. So. Oh. All right. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, punkmonkeycomics.com. We're at 4711 Forest Drive. Um, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Uh, the same thing with us. We're at Facebook, facebook.com slash Nerds of the Apocalypse. You can send us emails about anything at uh, the gmail.com, nerds the apoc at gmail.com. And we're on Twitch. Twitch at nerds at slash at nerds the apoc slash nerds the apoc. There we go. Twitch.tv slash nerds the apoc. Whoa. Sorry, it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe one day we'll twitch something soon. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we'll do some Destiny twitching. All right. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go on to events. So this Saturday, September 6th, uh, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're going to have a special guest store. Sanford Green's going to be coming in. Local artist. Um, he's done a lot of work with Marvel, DC, and indie stuff. He actually did Uncanny Avengers that came out last week. Uncanny Avengers number 23. Features, features a local hero. Uh, right. Jacoby. Jacoby, Jacoby Latta. Right. Talked uh, about him last week, too. Yeah. Of course, uh, the book celebrates his life. And so uh, Sanford's going to be here to sign the book for you. Uh, he drew the entire book, but uh, Jacoby's featured in the book. And he has a special... Layout, uh, full like almost a full page. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, come check that out. Get Sam for the time for you. It, it's a it's a really nice, tastefully done tribute to Jacoby, and we've had a lot of uh, his family members and church members come into the store and buy the book. So a lot of people's been coming in. So uh, we're going to honor him this Saturday. So come out, like I said, eleven to four. Sam will be here signing books. So come out and see us. September 11th, 6 p.m. is so going to be our next graphic novel club. We're going to be doing two books again this month. We're going to be doing uh, Six Gun from Colin Bunn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I thought was he was six. doing Spider-Man again. I was like, he no, just... No, that's six. No, I thwip and my gun pull is sound... the same sound. Oh, okay. So, Cullen Bunn, he's writing uh, Sinestro right now, Magneto. Uh, he wrote um, a series on Venom. He's doing a Godzilla book. Uh, what else is he doing? Um, Hellheim. Six Gun. Six Gun. Yeah. yeah <laughs> six Gun. And we are working on getting a Skype session set up what? with Mr. Bunn. That's cool. That's yeah. really cool. So we're still working out the details, but like I said, uh, next Thursday night, September 11th, 6 p.m., we're also going to be doing Hawkeye. We got for that one. You want to do it like this? Oh, right. Sorry. I got uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do Hawkeye Volume 1? Um, so Hawkeye, his character in uh, Marvel right now, he's kind of a... He's kind of a bit of a playboy out drinking all night, kind of wild. We have another Iron Man? Yeah, kind of in a way, no, yeah. Check the billionaire out, though. He's just oh, a yeah, playboy. Right. And I guess not a philanthropist either. He's a playboy archer. That's right. So he's like Arrow without the money. Oh, there you go. Yes, there you go. So um, we've been trying to do this. We're doing an indie book and a uh, uh, mainstream book. So uh, next month we'll be doing the same thing. So tune in for that. September 11th, 6 p.m. Well, I have a question. When you, yeah. Skype, when you Skype him in, is it going to be like... Uh, that episode of Big Bang Theory where Sheldon was like walking around like the robot and stuff, <laughs> like talking to people. We're gonna build like a Cullen Bun body. Yeah, dude, that'd be legit. <laughs> he turns him off. Surprise! He's like, <laughs> or Bazinga. For perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trek, that's, that's a great idea. We're putting that together. All right. All right, this week we actually have 10 notables. Holy butt. 10. What? Well, we, we talk, you know, we have, we planned our five books, but now we, now they have the 3D covers. Mm -hmm. It starts to the entire month of September. Um, and the first ten are coming out, so we're just gonna we're gonna show you what they are. So if you if you're trying to collect them all, we can we can uh, just talk about each one. If we know something about you know, because we're not reading every DC title, you know, we just you know, we got time for that. But if we know something about the books, we'll we'll talk about them as we go on. So kind of get started. These are all one shots. There's no second issues to any of this. It's basically just off of the future end brand that's been going on. I think we're on issue. Oh gosh, are we on sixteen. It's a lot. It, it's yeah. been it's been really good. Yeah, it's been good. A lot of different stories going on in it, but uh, so everybody's flashing forward for the whole month of uh, September. So first one is Action Comics. Action Comics number one. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to review the spoiler of Future's End, mm -hmm. but there's something crazy with Superman, and this covered. I, I you know I did the funny the fun 3D thing with the cover. It just it doesn't really explain it. So I'm really excited to pick this up, and so hopefully maybe inside the pages, I'll know what's going on with Superman because it's galloping. So the next you got you got Aquaman. Yeah. You've got Batwing, uh, Detective Comics. Um, this stop here a second. I love the cover. Uh, this is a takeoff. I can't remember which issues of Batman and Robin uh, cover here. We've yeah. got Riddler thrown in. Yeah. So yeah. Are Ooh, Batman Riddler. and Riddler working together. Maybe team up. A little team up. Mm, that's that's kind of crazy. A little team team. Uh, Earth two. Earth two is good. Uh, the there's all talks through the Future's End book 
of the of the Earth War. That's like Earth Two, and I don't know what's going on, uh, but hopefully this book sheds some light into it because something crazy happened on our Earth because of Earth Two, and in the Earth Two book it hasn't uh, explained it, and in Future it hasn't explained it, but something's going to collide soon. And there's actually an Earth Two Weekly. Mm -hmm. Has that started yet? No. Um... I don't remember the date, but it does it fall. Starts, yeah, yeah. It starts late as fall. So, check that um, out. The next one, Green Arrow. Uh, for, I think my favorite cover this week so far. Uh, of course, Green Arrow dies in the uh, the first uh, issue. That kind of what kicks off Future's End. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I th and we're supposed to be getting a new Green Arrow. Either it comes out in Future's End this week or in this book, I think, it gets announced. Uh, Green Lantern. Which is basically how Jordan goes back to the wall is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And he gets stuck there. The uh -oh. wall of the, uh, the end of the universe, by the way. Uh, Swamp Thing, uh, Trini is in Phantom Stranger. This is another book that I love when it first came out. Uh, the way I understand it is he's down to his last coin. So if you've read that series, that should be an interesting kind of twist. And then um, the, the last one uh, we kind of mentioned is Grayson, uh, which I kind of find interesting that, you know, five years in the future, Grayson is still Grayson. He's not going back to being Nightwing or hasn't yeah. rectified that yet. And he's got a different costume on, so I don't really know what that's all about. So has he joined a different organization after, um, oh gosh, what is the name of the? Uh, Sh Shield? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It's called Sword. <laughs> right. It's called Sword because they can't, or Buckler. Hell, <laughs> Hydra. Oh, so, um, he's part of a secret organization with the, the person who in the old universe was... Um, Oh my goodness, we're on tape. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's, who's in? Well, uh, you got Huntress in there. Huntress, yes, thank you. The who but was she, Hunt, Huntress? She's never been Huntress. Yeah, yet. she hasn't been Huntress yet. So she's or in Arrow she? as Huntress. I don't yeah. know. Oh. oh, sweet butt. <laughs> oh yeah, Helen, uh, Helena Bernatelli. Yeah, yeah Helena Bernatelli. Thank right. you, camera so, guy. One last thing um, on, before we move past this. Um, is this might lead to another reset of the DC? Universe? I don't know. I don't know. This, you know, it's there's speculation everywhere, but it just there's like small little hints here and there that things are gonna go, gonna go. Maybe they're gonna combine and like keep the best of the. I don't know what's gonna happen. I personally think it's 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 a revert, not a reboot. Like they're gonna somehow take the best of New Fifty Two and go back to the old stuff, and then so it's the old stuff with the new stuff. I don't know. I really don't like. Uh, spoiler alert: Superman's. Parents both being dead, like it's and it's you know it's from when New Fifty Two started, but yeah, it just, yeah. I just don't like that. I know Lois Lane relationship. And yeah. I mean, there's so oh, much. Yeah. I, yeah. I do like it being Wonder Woman though, because it's hot. But <laughs> I'm just saying. But uh, check all these out. You have them in the store, and each week there's another good five to ten. Yep, we got forty one total. So every week there'll be ten. One week eleven. So check them out. So coming in at number five this week, we've got a, a Vertigo book called uh, Names, number one. Oh. Uh, writer's Peter <laughs> Milligan. Sorry. <laughs> he's, uh, he's writing uh, All New Dupe right now for Marvel. Okay. Um, he's written some other stuff recently. So this book is kind of described as Wolf of Wall Street, uh, Cross Kill Bill. That's cool, man. Uh, essentially, a Wall Street man commits suicide. And his wife finds out that someone told him to commit suicide. And so she kind of goes on like this Kill Bill-esque mission to figure out who's telling people to kill people. So it's, uh, it's big, and it's, it's Wolf of Wall Street because it's a big numbers game. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because he was great with like yeah. talking to people. So um, it's, it's definitely an interesting read. Uh, a, lot, a lot of twists and turns and, and plot chases. So it's so, definitely cool to see. So what should we do with this book, Steve? Yeah. And it's uh what? What do you mean? What did you do with this what book? What should we do? I don't know. Did you read the thesaurus? Stop it! <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. It is it is only eight issues. It's, it's a mini series. Yeah. So if you don't want to, you know, some people are like, oh, I gotta get a book every month. But this is you get eight, you good. It's a a one and done. Can we say that? Is that something we can say? Yeah, I guess so. There's someone so you can you can get the eight issues and check it out. Ah. Oh! Our number four book of the week, Spider Man 2099 issue three. This has been excellent. Uh, I don't know why something from 2099 uh, gets me, man. Because you know the 2099 run isn't isn't like acclaimed. Everyone's like, I gotta go back and read the 2099 stuff. Yeah. But the way Dan Slott has written, uh, oh, 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 Miguel Miguel O'Hare, let's go Miguel O'Hare into the Amazing Spider Man universe has been perfect. And I I love this read. The uh, the last issue had like a Terminator thing going on, which was amazing. 
So yeah, and you know, I, I don't think I've read a Spider book since like the middle nineties. I didn't read <laughs> Superior Spider Man. I just haven't been a fan a long time. This is the first Spider book I picked up. Cool thing is, this is issue three. So if you're looking for somewhere to start, it's a good place to, to start a thing. So just check it out. Do you have Do you have the other two? You have other two yeah. issues. So it's number three. So you can pick up one and two. And this is going to run into Spider Verse. So if you're going to read Spider Verse, this would be uh, a good 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 place to begin. All right, starting off number three is actually a twofer. Um, we've got Rocket Raccoon, and then followed by Legendary Star Lord. Uh, basically, these are obviously the continuations of the stories. Uh, he was going after a princess, and uh, he being two, a Rocket right? Raccoon, right? Yeah, yes. he, we're talking about Rocket Raccoon, talking about Rocket Raccoon three right now. I yeah. I got messed up. It's okay, but he was going after a princess, and uh, he's still going after that princess. <laughs> He's Rocket Raccoon, and he's on a mission, and it's uh, it's it takes place sort of during Guardians book, but it's your it's like you're you're they're they're branching off and doing these solo books, and and they're actually really good. It's it's just like reading Guardians, and the other Guardians kind of get star a little bit in these books. So they've done a good job at isolating each of their personalities and put them in their own books. So uh, yeah, and the the next one I. I wasn't reading Guardians. I, I keep saying, because I was reading a lot of DC uh, before the last couple months, and here lately I've started reading a lot of Marvel. Um, but uh, Legendary Star-Lord number three, man, what a what a fun book. Yeah, see, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, there you go. Should they check so, it out? Yeah, so you should check it out. So issue one and two, just, just more story of, of Peter Quill's backstory. Uh, the second issue, he's got a half-sister that shows up. Oh, um, yeah, so, I, that, was, that was the... Spoiler alert, that was a big cliffhanger <laughs> in issue two. Um, well, no, you, if you read issue two, yeah. it's been out a couple weeks, sorry. Yeah. And uh, I really like that. hes They've written Kitty Pride into this. <laughs> like, even in Guardians of the Galaxy and in the Star-Lord. And in, un, and in, not on Uncanny X-Men, um, all new X-Men. Yes. Uh, he, they, like, talk to each other via hologram. And uh, it looks like she might actually be showing up to help him out this time around, not I, just one hologram. So pretty sure that's the next love interest for him. So that's great, Kitty Pride. I mean, he doesn't like he doesn't like he doesn't like Kitty Pride. Her name's so, Kitty. Shadow Cat. So if you watch the movie and you're wanting to start on Guardians books, both of these are issue three. We both have issues one and two here, very easy to get into. I think you saw some variant covers too left. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So, so uh, coming in number two this week is the eighth issue and final installment of Original Sin. Um, Stevie, if you uh, spoil it for me, I will punch you in the Spoiler face. Spoiler alert, it was Howard the Duck. <laughs> <laughs> he had to Howard flip. He had to look to see the last page. Um, <laughs> another book, was it reading Marvel? Started reading this. I love the series. Um, I think last issue is the one where we find out how Thor loses his hammer. I'm not going to spoil that, but it's an original sin. Um, so I'm excited. I haven't read it yet. I want to read this night when I get home. To see who did kill the watcher. It's, it's good, and that's 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 what this is. Who who killed the watcher has been the question for the past couple of months who since the series it? started, and you find out who done it. This is not a good jumping on point. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's what actually ruined the whole story. That's right. <laughs> so, but this uh, is all leading up to the next big uh, Marvel event, which is called Axis, which starts. That looks really good. Yeah, at least next month. I uh, I think it's villains. Next month. Yeah, October. Yeah. So yeah, so villains are. Heroes and heroes are villains That's and right. a lot of different things. So, oh. yeah. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> so check that out. Oh. So coming in at number one this week is the first issue of Death of Wolverine, a four-part <laughs> miniseries. Imagine I have claws. Imagine. I'm trying really hard. I think you just got him in the head, man. I did. I did. <laughs> so eventually, I um, think we're gonna kill Wolverine. Maybe I it's possible. At the end, it's it's. There's four issues and spoilers, probably four or four. He may die. I'm not sure though. So, so at the end of the last Wolverine issue, he gets the complete crap kicked out of him. So this is kind of a continuation of that story. It's got a lot um, of good artwork in here. This looks great. It's a lot. Yeah, phenomenal artwork. It's got a lot of bonus material at the end of the book. Um, so nice hard cover of the book. So. It's, it is. It feels. It feels nice. <laughs> it feels nice. Uh, touching. Did that. we mention Charles Soule? We did, right? Oh, Charles Soule. Charles Soule. Soule. Yeah, Charles Soule writes it. Charles Soule. He's Charles writing Soule. Wolverine, so it, it makes sense that he would write the death of Wolverine. <laughs> I wish I could have wrote the death of Wolverine. <laughs> the man in every book comes. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> yeah. sorry, no. Uh, that, that's that's my excitement for reading it. It's like, oh, he's dead. Let's read. Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So don't forget to come out this Saturday, uh, the 6th, from 11 to 4 for the uh, Sanford Green signing here at the store. Uh, what else you guys got coming up? Uh, well, we're going to be 
at Super PopCon. Right. Yeah. Well, so we'll, we'll have more information on that in the next video. Hey, everybody, this is my daughter, Elena. Hey. 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 Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's watched our stuff has seen her anyway. Please be careful, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be at Super Popcom. We'll have more information on that. Um, next week's video. Yeah, okay. next week. Next week's video. Um, and uh, I think that's really. I think that's the next big thing. I think after that, it's the Halloween Fest here at Punk Monkey. Yeah, right. Halloween Comic Fest, right? Twenty we'll, fifth on yeah. Saturday, and we'll be having Sanford Green here and uh, Jeremy Dale uh, doing Scottward. So, and of course, Nerds Apocalypse. That's right. So, so uh, I guess Monkey Apocalypse out. Well. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's how, great. Bad, how bad was she in the show?